Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Matthew McLaurin. In this podcast, we'll be revisiting the wells riley equation and how HVAC systems can play a role in preventing the spread of infection. We're going to specifically take a look at how filtration and recirculated air contributes to minimizing the risk of infection. The standard form of this equation looks like this, where I is the number of infectious individuals, Q is the generation rate for a specific infectious disease, P is the breathing rate, T is the time of exposure, and QOA is the rate of clean air being supplied to the space. A report done by the Built Environment Research Group applies a modified form of this equation that considers the level of filtration and the amount of recirculated air. The resulting equation looks like this. As an example, we'll compare a standard patient room to a protective environment room of the same size. Beginning with a 300 square foot patient room that requires two outdoor air changes and a total of four air changes and a MERV 14 filter. Applying these requirements and considering rhinovirus, aka the common cold as the pathogen, the resulting probability of infection is 7.4%. Now let's compare that to a protective environment room of the same size. In a protective environment room, the design intent is to prevent the patient who has a depressed or compromised immune system from getting an infection. To achieve this, these rooms are positively pressurized and use non-aspirating diffusers directly over the patient to create a sterile field around the patient. Additionally, protective environment rooms require two outdoor air changes, 10 total air changes, and HEPA filtration. First, we'll calculate the reduction to the probability of infection resulting from the higher air change rate, and then look at the benefits from adding a filter. When we solve the equation for increased air changes, the chance of infection is 1.77%, a reduction of about 5.5%. Solving with the HEPA filter in place of the MERV-14 filter, the percent chance reduces to 1.75%. While this isn't a huge step, primarily due to a relatively minor change in filtration efficiency, any reduction will play a critical role in the prevention of infection, which is extremely important for those with reduced ability to fight off an infection. For more information on the Wells-Riley equation and how HVAC systems can help reduce infection risks, visit the Built Environment Research Group's website. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.